and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Scribes Endure. We're going to be playing some Scribe of Sorrows up next. Uh, we're going to be playing this. Um, not, not just an all-in Scribe of Sorrows, like only infinite Scribe of Sorrows deck. We're going to be playing it in just a Freljord um, and Shadow Isles kind of value deck. Uh, where we're going to be going big with our champions of Thresh and Anivia, and then winning with They Who Endure Atrocity. So we're kind of going like the, the regular They Who Endure Atrocity deck, where you're playing a lot of things that you don't mind if they die, but we're going more controlly with some bigger champions with Thresh and Anivia. Um, so yeah, so Scribe of Sorrows can create more Scribe of Sorrows sometimes. Or maybe you'll get like Warden's Prey that can um, create a Last Breath Follower and so you just keep on getting more units um, after you keep getting more Warden's Preys or draw more cards with Averroes and Sentry, gain some more life with Kindly Tavern Keeper. Um, basically just using this as, as a just a value engine because Scribe of can also get champions. We can get more Thresh and Anivia if those die. Um, or maybe even more They Who Endure. So... So that's our deck. We got some sweepers in here. Avalanche, the box, Withering Whale. Uh, keep those aggro decks down. Um, yeah, this this deck looks like it's going to be very good against aggro. I think like the the ramp decks that go really big are going to be what give us trouble. Uh, but I think control decks we have a lot of card advantage and we'll probably be okay there. And against aggro decks we'll probably be okay with like this Nexus healing and and all these sweepers and everything. So um, yeah, I think we're. Really, aggro is where we're going to be the strongest against. But um, it is a meme tier deck with just being a Scribe of Sorrows deck. So we're going to go play it over in normal. This looks like this could be a good option if you're playing against a lot of aggro decks yourself. This could be something that could be pretty decent. Hey, Traspo. All right. So we're, we are playing against an aggro deck. <laughs> yes, RV. Sorry. However you want to be bet. We are playing against an aggro deck uh, to start with. We're going to be uh, keeping the Kindly Tavern Keeper and the box. The box is a card that I haven't really been that impressed with. I kind of feel like every time that I see the box, or basically I play the box, it just it doesn't play as good as it looks on paper. On paper it looks pretty cool of being able to kill multiple things for not that much mana, but just in practice it doesn't work out as well. Those past turns, both of these. I could play Stalking Shadows and look for Warden's Prey for this turn one. But then I only have three mana next turn, and I kind of want to be able to have four mana available for next turn in case of Petty Officer. We can just cleanly trade with Petty Officer. Let's get to it. Okay, so no Petty Officer. Let's just go Stalking Shadows. Okay. Two mana, discard a card. I've never seen an opponent whiff on that. And if, if I would have cast it last turn, we would have grabbed Warden's Prey. But we just drew Warden's Prey for turn and then whiffed on Stalking Shadows. Um, but anyway, yeah, I've never seen an opponent whiff on that. But I've whiffed on it. I, don't know, I think about three or four times now. Another round. This is going to be just the first damage that we would potentially deal. So they've done a great job leveling up Gangplank, both on their turn with the attacks and on uh, my turn with the Mega Rain. And so far, um, so far, there's only been three turns, and Gangplank's at three out of five. Scribe of Sorrows. All right, so I haven't had anything die yet. The box would take out this powder keg now, wouldn't it? I think it would. <laughs> Shark. Shark chariot. Another Kindly Tavern Keeper? Cool. Hmm. 
I guess I could have glimpsed beyond that shark area, but I wanted to save the mana. Oh, there, there I should be Glimpse Beyonding. I should be Glimpse Beyonding there. Him good. Take the chill off. Yeah, I really should have Glimpse Beyond there. Hey, Michael, good afternoon. Hope you're having a good Monday. We got a Scribe of Sorrows, They Who Endure deck. Feel me in. Going on here. Gold card. All right. Perfect time for the box. That will kill all of those. We'll still get gold carded. But we'll take down all of those. Very good. Alright, so how about that? The box looking strong. We can even heal our own Tavern Keeper with more Tavern Keepers. If we so choose. I'll just block. Vengeance is basically going to be just for Gangplank. They could be like playing Jack the Winner. Also, that's a possibility. Um, yeah, I'll just go thrash. So they who endure would be a six-six right now. Decimate. So decimate does four damage. Tavern Keeper heals three, so. Tavern Keeper basically is like casting Deny. It's basically like casting Deny on the uh, Decimate and getting a 3 3 body. I think I actually just want stuff to trade. Things trading is better for they who endure and better for Thrash. I mean, I saved three damage with Vengeance. Meh. I'm gonna finally cast this Glimpse Beyond that I should have cast earlier. I saw the Averroes in Sentry first, and I was like, ooh, that was a good card that Warden's Prey created. And then I was like, wait a minute, never mind. Warden's Prey actually created this Yeti Yearling. Nothing escapes my watch. Still not that bad, though. All right, Thresh, you are at three, two. No, we're at two for Thresh. Six for they who endure. I'm feeling pretty good about this game. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Um, Something ancient. The problem with playing Anivia right now is they could play Gangplank. Oh, Riptide Rex. Looks like Thresh is staying alive, and that's the most important thing. Perfect. So level up Thresh. That'll bring another another Anivia into play attacking. What will you have? We'll have the Tavern Keeper block the Riptide Rex. Now Thresh can block the three two. If I went Scribe of Sorrows there, that would have been a better card. Just kind of play, but then I wouldn't have been able to block the 3 2 also. So, they who endure is a 12 12 now. We should probably be playing 12 12s. Ooh. That could be a good one to have. So, there's our, our deck name right there Scribe Endure. That's what our deck's about. Scribe Endure. The 
Let's put Anivia into play. We get the two Anivia abilities. Boom. GG's. Okay, our Scribe Endurers want to know. Once more. <laughs> Banana fish. Yeah, GG's. That was a good win. So expecting we're gonna mulligan the two really super expensive cards, of course, so we, that we can draw two really expensive cards. Demacia Shadow Isles is probably going to be a they who and or not sorry, not they who and dare. Sorry, it's probably gonna be a the undying deck. They never stop. Usually it's a the Undying deck, at least. We got the Warden's Prey Mirror. Go and attack. We'll block. Dare ya. Alright, let's trade. Let's see who gets... Who has the luck. Strange. Two mana card? Yes, we have the luck. We got the two mana card. The two mana cards are the best. These old eyes still see far and clear. Juicy. Wow, we're playing just like a mirror match. In Avarosa's name. That was a great Avarosan Sentry. Stalking Shadows made that. Okay, we'll take the ta Tavern Keeper. It's better than missing. They should just at least attack for one. I guess they didn't want me to draw a card. That's fair. That's fair if you don't want me to draw a card. Um, so Tavern Keeper doesn't heal anything. Scribe Sorrows would just create a Warden's Prey. Not the most enticing. I could cast. No, I'll just take a Warden Spray. We'll just play a Warden Spray. There it is, the Undying. Safeguard our homes. And we can take hits from the Undying without blocking because our Tavern Keeper is being, being able to heal our life total. Oh, that's good. You could be that's a good so draw. Much more. Wow. Wow. Okay, I high rolled pretty high getting the Avaros and Sentry, but that is a great high roll. Turning the Undying into Avaros and Hearthguard, buff up the units in your deck. That is cool. Alright, which one do you want to block the Avaros and Hearthguard? So if we block here, yeah, we're going to block there. What are these two is blocking? Um, I guess you, let me draw another card. Could just have both of these things block. No, I like, I like, so I like blocking here and I like having Tavern Keeper re-heal my Thresh. So now Scribe of Sorrows is 50-50 on Warden's Prey and Avarosan Sentry, right? I think it's just 50-50 now. Yeah, I don't think anything else died. Let's start Tavern Keeper. So look, looks like this is going to be a longer game. We both have a bunch of things. A bunch of stuff going on. Um, cool. Really, I like this Thrash. This looks like a matchup where we're both going to have just a bunch of things dying, and we have a Thrash. 
Last turn. I'm gonna keep mine to block, thank you. Man, that that hearth guard. What a hit. That's a quick pass. That's such a quick pass. That's a play stuff into my ruination, please, pass. Nothing escapes I'll play Avaros and Sentry into your ruination. They have just a whole bunch of like 4-3s that are going to be dying. Oh, on guard? That could be worse. So I need to reheal this Thresh even more. Yep. Heal the Thresh even more. They really should not have played on guard and then curse keeper. You play on guard right before you attack, but we are in normal, you know. So like they're they're probably learning. We got to play that. Uh, you know, play the curse keeper first, and then you know even if you want to do that. Three out of six. Okay. So that's four. This is going to be five. Sacrificing the sentry to be six. That'll be leveled up Thresh. There's no reason why this Undying shouldn't have attacked. I guess I guess that's the reason, is they don't want Thresh to level up. Never mind. I said there's no reason, but that's there's definitely a reason. Okay, let's attack. This will put Anivia into play. Attacking, which will do one damage, so it'll take out this Curse Keeper, so like the Thresh isn't even gonna take one damage. We'll kill this Escaped Abomination. Uh, basically kill all of that stuff. Right, that looks good. Endless cold, endless peace. I will be reborn. <laughs> this is a crazy game, and we have so many cards still. Yes. They endure as an 8 8 now. I'm planning on playing the box. Let's see if they do something to kill their Curse Keeper. Ah, Ruination. Wait, did I just play Warden Spray? Oh no, I played the wrong card. I want, meant to play Ever Rosen Sentry. Great one. So 13 13 they who endure? And they're at 13. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> it's a crazy game. So if I want to keep atrocity available, I have four extra mana. I was I didn't play anything because of the box. They're out there. Right, like so like maybe they would play some more things and I'd have the box. Virtue guides me. Two mana left. Just gonna play another they who enter. Could go with the atrocity kill, the they could have single combat, heal themselves. Alright, GG's. Double they who endure. Like that game. <laughs> Alright, Freljord. Perrin with dragons. Don't know if Stalking Shadows is going to miss. I kind of feel like it will. I'm going to, especially keeping these three followers. So we'll mulligan the Stalking Shadows. Keep these. 
where... Uh, no, let's, we'll, we'll get one Scribe of Sorrows, also. I'll just keep Warden's Prey and, and one Scribe. Yeah, Mafia Plot, yeah, this deck's been pretty fun. You know, this is not going to be, like, a Tier 1 deck or anything, but it's definitely been fun to play. Devotion to battle. Do some cool stuff. I like Scribe of Sorrows as a card quite a bit. I like that we're just playing Scribe of Sorrows in just a generic good stuff kind of deck. So we'll see if they have more Solari Soldier type cards where maybe I can have an Avalanche clear up some cards like that. Could get an attack in and have Withering Whale, but, you know, five mana Withering Whale to deal with Solari Soldier, not the best. You can see the Nebastian border from here. I want that card. We may get that card. Follow the horizon. Just leave me alone. Okay. First keeper. Alright, so the plan is Avalanche. That's the plan. That gets rid of my Curse Keeper, gets rid of those two things. Weirding Stones are being at 02. How am I dealing with 02 Weirding Stones? No Trundle, thankfully. Trundle will definitely be a big beating here. That card's kind of a beating here, too. Scribe of Sorrows either gets me Warden's Prey or Cursed Keeper. The chains, they never stop. I'll just keep my two mana and pass. This'll take the chill off. Dang, wish I had one extra mana and I could have had the box available also. Deal with those. So if we learn anything from the first game, do not cast Kindly Tavern, or sorry, do not cast Stalking Shadows now, because we just drew a follower for turns, so and then we're gonna whiff. We can't cast that right now. But I also don't really want to pass. I guess we'll just go Tavern Keeper over here. All right, that's probably silly. I should probably just cast this instead of wasting mana. Wow. We had all four. So I like Sentry, I like They Who Endure. I like both of those options. We could go either way. I'm gonna go with the Sentry to start with and draw more into the deck. I'm gonna go with that. Nothing escapes my watch. And now I'm going to go right to attacks. Oh man, they had their own sentry also. Getting some sentries that die is also good for scribe sorrows. I've got meat bigger than you. There we go. Now, these are some cards that we need. This is, like, where our power's at. These are all good draws. And they are ramping up to a really soul. Oh, man, they're ramping real hard. So I did talk about how that's going to be the toughest thing for us, is going to be the ramp decks. Ramp decks that go real big. Um... Played a couple of more aggro decks, and those have been good matchups. Good, no Aurelian Soul, that's good. Let's plan on having Withering Whale take down the Daylight, Spell Shield for Aurelian Soul this turn. That was my plan. They have two good. Um, they're gonna have two good invoke cards that they grab from Solari Priestess. I hope they're not the obliterates, because at least if they kill Thresh and not obliterate, we have a chance of getting Thresh back. Oh, I might have not been in the, the chat room. My chat just refreshed and said, welcome to the chat room. So if you've said anything in a little while in the chat room, I, I would have missed it, I guess. I think I was disconnected. 
My bad. All right, what'd they discard? Kindly Tavern Keeper. Makes sense to discard that one. You can see the Nebastian border from here. Safeguard our homes. So it makes sense they want to draw cards. I really want them to draw cards right now. These old eyes still see far and clear. All right, Sentry will die. No, Red and Stars draw a champ, reduce its cost by one, and give a plus two, plus two. All right, so now we know they definitely have a <laughs> Brilliant Soul. Yep. Definitely have a Brilliant Soul. Your favorite star. I created it. All right, challenge over here. Yes. Let's go this Withering Will first, not let them block with the Avros and Sentry. So just want to make sure that, that the Aurelian Soul doesn't level up, which it won't. Just I don't really need the box. Should I play Scribe of Sorrows, give me another attacker. Killing a Weirding Stones doesn't really matter, because they'll still have 10 mana either way, so Weirding Stones now doesn't really matter. Believe or burn. So this is gonna so Thresh is at one, that's two, that's three, that's four, so Thresh is going to four. I definitely hope they don't have Bastion. Now they'll pay attention. So we'll have Vengeance be able to take down Aurelian Soul. Um, besides that, that means we'd be left with three mana. So we're looking at Tavern Keeper, Curse Keeper, some kind of Keeper. It's not ideal. So that will kill Thresh. Can't stop that from killing Thresh. I could just kill the Scourge and let them keep Aurelian Soul. Nope. Nope, it's definitely kill Aurelian Soul. So close to leveling Thresh up, though. We're so close. But the Scourge is pretty decent. Thresh? Darn. Anivia! Eternal winter. Like that, Anivia. No. Do I play Curse Keeper before attacks or just go to attack? No, we'll just go to attack. That's pretty annoying, right? That each time the Scourge attacks, it just completely reheals these weirding stones. So trying to get more damage in. Keep killing the Scourge. Maybe I should kill. Should just cast the box and kill the trickster. Don't lo really love what we got going on. We're gonna have to just keep on throwing waves of attackers at them, trying to have things die and buff up they who endure. It's about my only option right now. 
Wow, I love that. That doesn't really make too much sense to me. I don't know why they're not just challenging a 2-3. Why they'd give me that ability to draw a card. But thank you. Um, so 9-9 nine, nine now. It's close. This will take the chill off. We do have 13 mana this next turn, so I get to play another They Who Endure. And have Atrocity. No. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Good news is they probably still need to block. Yeah, I was going to say, they probably still need to block with the Scourge anyway, which would keep their Aurelian Soul from leveling up. Let's talk about your tab. No. Ugh. Can't kill that thing. So I do one more point of damage to them if I cast Withering Will now, but we're gonna wait on Withering Will, because presumably they play Aurelian Soul this turn. That would make sense for them just to cast Aurelian Soul right here. Yep. And so now I cast the Withering Will, so we take out the Spell Shield. Along with clearing out a couple of more of these things. So now the spell shield's gone. That could be important. My, how they stare. Alright, well they still have a whole bunch of celestials over there. Elusive. Maybe like Thresh for five, Ky Thresh, Kindly Tavern Keeper, Averrosen Sentry. That's ten. I guess I want to I want to save two mana though, so I can have they who endure atrocity next turn. So I want to spend eight mana this turn. Okay, so that's our plan. Spend eight mana. If our plan spend eight mana. It's going to be Thresh with um, Kindly Tavern Keeper. Play the Avalanche, kind of. All right, actually, we're going to play Avalanche. That's going to bump these up, but it does mean I don't get to play Thresh. Probably should have gone the other Cursed Keeper first. Yeah, that's true. I could just go Atrocity right now and kill Aurelian Soul. See the Debastian board. I should play this other Curse Keeper first. Oh, we weren't expecting callers. Before that avalanche. The constellations bow to me. That would have gave it an additional plus one, plus one on this day. Not only would we have the 4-3, but then this would have been a 14-14. Is more important. Kind of, I was running out of time, and uh, yeah, I was running out of time, and decided to go with that avalanche. My magnum opus. Right out. Take it. There you go. Go to negative one. Looks good. That's quite enough. You abject failure. Yep, 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 yep. Good old hush. Ooh, 
playing against Karina control. Playing against Karina control. So I think we'll be okay against Karina control as long as they, you know, they don't combo kill us, but because of our ability to have um, you know, a bunch of a bunch of units, but it's the those ramp decks. That's what we talked about like at the very beginning. The ramp like we just played against, that's probably going to be our worst matchup how they're able to go over the top of us. So it's weird to keep an Avalanche against a control deck. But usually just this deck, I've, you know, they can go real wide with the Spiders and like Brood Awakening. And so I decided to keep the Avalanche because of that, but we'll see if that does end up paying off or not. Cool, Osser. Glad to hear that. Said that it started using um, Tarek Leeson because of you, and I think it's great. I'm really glad to hear that. Awesome, Super Z. You've been liking the, the editing on YouTube? Good. Good to know. Um, I'm glad to know, because, yeah, that, it's very time, con you know, it's pretty time consuming on the, the videos, and I've been hoping that they would help out the videos more than they have view-wise so far, but I am glad to, glad to hear that you're enjoying it. Okay, we'll take that. So, ooh, that's a good card. All right, so I'm just gonna avalanche right now. Turn Elise into one health. Do that. Now we have this withering whale that can be one health for later. Leave your tracks in the door. Alright, good card. Gotcha is definitely an underrated card. You won't suffer long. So we each have six cards in hand. Only had two things die. We need to go grab Scrab Sorrows so that we can have more things die. There's nothing to fear. No. There we go. So yeah, Scribe will put back Avros and Sentry, right? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, I guess it could have been Kylie Tavern Keeper also. Glad it's not Kylie Tavern Keeper though. But I want the card advantage from Averroes and Sentry. Okay. These old eyes still see far and clear. Line. They're doing a good job getting their champions. I don't need a plan. Hush now. Ready the torches. Hmm. Mm. No, that's prime. It's not worth it. No, that's not worth it. Let's draw a card first. Cool. Glad we waited. Okay. That's how it goes. Yeah, we are not a good Stalking Shadows deck. We whipped on a lot of our Stalking Shadows. We need all the stuff we had last game. Last game we had, there we go, we need all these units that, to die. We had a lot of those from last game. Talking Shadows was one card away. Hit him where it hurts. 
Why does that even make sense to do? Do they have overwhelm or something? Why are they not challenging either? My warrant. Not that I need it. Cast this the box. Check out that spider. That was weird. Are these? The undying. It shall never die. Yeah, that didn't, that turn didn't really make much sense. I feel like they just have a lot of removal in hand. And they're just trying to figure out, like, something to do with said removal. Like, that's all they're doing. I do wonder if, like, this deck would just be better with Ledros instead of They Who Endure. I kind of feel like that would be the case. But Ledros would make more sense in this deck. Or not necessarily make more sense, but would, would be more effective. Do you think that's very possible that that would be the case? Okay, I like Anivia here being all being a good fearsome blocker. Cause like if they kill the Tavern Keeper, we were going to have to play They Who Enter to be able to block. I mean, now Anivia, we can play Anivia to be able to block. Oh, or Legion Grenadier. Also play Anivia. Forever they, of course, can have another removal spell to kill the egg, but that's just more things that they're killing, which is good for they who endure. I will be reborn. Fuse is lit. So we're at nine now. Alright, 10. Cool. Make this an 11 11. That's better. Alright, they who endure plus atrocity. No, 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 no. I mean, I guess I have to atrocity and kill the Ledros, don't I? Otherwise, they just attack me with Ledros and kill me. Uh, man, I don't want to do this. It's quite unfortunate. Because if that was Ledros, I'd be able to play Ledros a couple of turns ago, like when they played theirs. I'd be able to have like the two Ledros be able to play. Really, the the last like couple turns would have been able to play Ledroses. Stands for vicious. There's nowhere to hide. Headed in. Again, isn't great, but we'll play Thresh and sacrifice Thresh. We get a bunch of damage in. Hmm. My 
hurts. Come on. Like a flower, Zona. Behold. All right, so we'll have Ronation here, of course. And now we'll play Avros and Sentry afterwards. We'll have four for the Undying and Avros and Sentry, so that'll be six. See the Nebastian border from here. Yeah, we are running out of win cons for sure. Oh man, these withering whales—they don't help. Definitely going to need to just play Avalanche here and draw a card. Because Avros and Sentry isn't going to be doing anything. We need to draw a card. Anivia. The spirit of winter awakens. Okay. That can block. Ooh, I like that Harsh Winds. We've got to cast this first, because otherwise if it's four, we lose. So just got to cast that to gain three life. And it is four. All right, so we're frostbiting those. Do we want to block? We probably do. Probably want to block. I will endure. I don't know if I want to. Do I want to put Ledros back into their hand? I guess so. This gives them one blocker next turn on my attack. I'll have my five five. I'll have the five five and this three one. Yeah, let's give it a try. Come on, 1919. Please don't have Get Excited or Mystic Shot. Please don't have Get Excited or Mystic Shot or anything that does one damage to me. I wish I had one more mana so I could pl play the Withering Whale, but I don't. Oh, they just drew it. That's the last card they drew. Wow, just drew the Mystic Shot. Oh, so close. So close. One mi you know, they just drew Mystic Shot. I needed one mana for Withering Whale. Oh, so close. My plans. Can't believe we came that close to winning that. Us playing Ledroses would have killed them for sure. The Warden's Prey grabbing, grabbing the Undying was pretty sweet. Okay, I guess, I mean, we're gonna need this combo. But we need our early stuff too. Like, we're gonna need this combo later, but we're also going to need to have a lot of things die to turn on our They Who Enter. It's not just like, you know, it's not just Ledros, it just won't be, it won't just be big. We have to draw our small units first, so we have to mulligan looking for those. And we found one, Avros and Sentry is perfect. Thank you, we'll take that. Double Ruination. Expecting this to be a War Mother's Call deck, right? Trindamir and Nivia, probably War Mother's Call. Avalanche. I'll just pass. Maybe play double avalanche here to kill the two, kill a weirding stones. So much mana. But it can keep them from getting, from ramping up and getting too much mana later on.
Great card. Great card. So they're up one card on me right now. And four mana. They're up one card and two mana. Don't think I'm gonna play Thrash. These old eyes still see far and clear. Not yet. I'm gonna go with these other two. Scribosaurus. Light the signal fires. More Anivias. Warm hearts and hot soup. We've only had two things die so far. Alright, that's a nice Scribosaurus draw. I was planning on just playing an Ivia, but I want to play this Scribosaurus and get back another Avros and Sentry and then play that Avros and Sentry. Pain is nothing. Just helps us keep having more things die. They're out there. I'll spot them. It's a good scribe with Zaros. Bristle, attack! Look out for Reavers! Alert the villains! Okay. Warden's prey, we're gonna need more things to die. The chains! They never stop! Kind of seeing what they do here. I think I'm planning on playing my Thresh now. My Thresh can, can take down their Sejuani. With an help of an with help of an of an Anivia attack. Oh man, that was bad. <laughs> with help of an Anivia attack. It's difficult to say an Anivia. Of an Anivia attack. Perfectly fine, I'll take that. We're up to seven things now dying. Forever That's watch. good. So their Anivia will be leveled up next turn. Mine, not so much. Yuck. Worst card to get. Yeah, Tavern Keeper was the worst card to get. Um, what does he want from me? I will endure. Keep on enduring. Eternal winter. Sure. Now we'll have Snow, ten. Wind and ice. For our Anivia. Just leave me alone. Cool. Just gonna go wide with Avaros and Sentries. Also, just do that. These old eyes still see far and clear. I wonder if we can run them out of cards, of like threats. <laughs> can we do that? Double ruination. Can we run them out? Probably not, right? 
Safeguard our homes. Well, if we kill one Trindamir, then the future Trindamirs will come in to play on the leveled up side. We have one champion down with Sejuani, so they can't just have, like, infinite champions. This is going to kill Anivia. It's a good vengeance. Gets rid of my they who endure also. Yuck. Yuck. So we'll draw three cards, but no, not Scribe of Sorrows. But we don't want to draw the followers that are going to get obliterated by She Who Wanders. Unfortunately, we did draw a couple. We want those followers after. We want them right here. All right, so yeah, I'm probably gonna take the Hunter now. I am Redros, the King's Shield. Every step brings me closer to deliverance. So I need to be worried about atrocity. Brace yourself. Protect this place. I will endure. I protect this place. Who would face me? Okay. So we're going to have 11 11, they who endure with atrocity. Hail Striders. These are dark. That's the current orders. plan. That's the current plan. That's another She Who Endures. So if I could Ruination right now, but then they would get... The problem with Ruination is they get Ledros back. It's just any kind of Nexus healing, which their deck's going to have a lot of Nexus healing, stops the They Who Endure atrocity combo. So that that isn't reliable. I wish I could kill this Trindamir first before Ruination, but I don't think that that's really an option. Uh, unless they would just block Anivia with Trindamir, which doesn't make any sense with having these things out. So basically we're just going to go Ruination, keep my Anivia alive. And then we're going to play the Tavern Keeper to heal my Nexus 3. Most likely after they play Ledros, because likely they play Ledros here, but they could also just be playing a spell to kill my Anivia. It could happen too. Well, they're not playing Ledros. That's good for me, not Ledros. So I wonder if we can run him out of threats. My blade grows restless. My blade calls! Than you. I was hoping they were going to play Ledros first and then be able to Ruination. Still at five. Darn. GG's. They fought well. We kind of 
kind of did exactly what we talked about though at the very beginning is that against the aggro decks we did really really well against like smaller decks um so if you're playing against smaller decks this, this deck like you know we did really well it was just the the decks that could go over the top your other ramp decks like basically the, the decks with ramp spells they went over the top of us ledros went over the top of what we were doing um and you know like especially ramp with hush for they who endure that was brutal um and then, and then Ledros with the other two games. Um, so yeah, like that's that's what we lost to. We lost to, lost to the ramp decks, and also lost to the control deck with Ledros finishing us out faster. Um, so I kind of like what this deck's going on. I mean, I like the Scribe of Sorrows with Warden's Prey, Avaros, and Century Scribe of Sorrows. You can get just so many small units, and then you have the Avalanche in the box and the Withering Whale that also take out small units. Thresh controls the board great, and Nivea great against small units. So against small unit decks, this deck is pretty awesome. You got a lot of stuff there. But decks that don't have small units, that don't really care if you have a whole bunch of 1-1s and 2-1s, and that they go really big, and they have Ledros and things like that, like that's going to be where we're going to really struggle, and, and that's what we saw those last three games. So I could definitely see playing Ledros instead of They Who Endure. Playing those games out, I think um, that if you kind of... Kind of combine this with like the like the Ledros plus um, Atrocity. I, I actually think that that's going to be better. I, I really do. I think that would be better. So maybe playing like Ledros. And, and honestly, I just don't think the box is very good. So what if this had like two Ledros and no the box and then like two Babbling Bjerg that would draw your Ledros for you, right? Like that would help you help you find Ledros. Um, cause it's not, it's not drawing anything else. And then, um, also play maybe a third atrocity cause atrocity is super important. Um, uh, but I could also see playing like a revitalizing roar in here to just reduce the cost of Ledros. And so you could have, you could have like the Ledros atrocity combo with your revi revitalizing roar. I think that that would actually make this deck pretty good because you need to have against like those other big decks, you've got to have like the combo finish. Um, Stalking Shadows wasn't good for us either. Maybe it mean maybe it just needs to be Ramp. Uh, maybe instead of Babbling Bjerg, uh, you you could also just go with r some Ramp spells. Um, because against the other Ramp decks, you got to be able to keep up. Ruination really didn't seem that necessary. Or like like the games like we weren't like winning with casting Ruination. So I could see this. Because, like, basically kind of combining this with, like, the revitalizing Ledros deck that we played the other day that I liked a whole lot. Like, what if this had just some ramp in here also? Maybe not Weirding Stones, but maybe, like, Catalyst of Aeons. Take down one Withering Whale. Or the Revitalizing Roar. One of those two. I think I'd like that. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely see that being good and then that gives you i think a better combo finish at the top end where you're still going to be awesome against the aggro decks you're not really hurting your aggro deck plan at all um but this should be a better top end against uh control and ramp decks so yeah that 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 could definitely be a way to make this to make this uh pretty solid so if you're if you're playing against a lot of, of aggro decks you'll feel feel free to try this out especially this version here let me know how it goes um yeah, I think this deck is actually, this could actually be a real deck uh, for sure, you know, which is which is really what you want your meme tier decks to be. And if we're playing Scribe of Sorrows, it's really what we want, want it to do is to turn into a real deck. And this definitely feels like it could could be pretty solid. All right, but anyway, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this deck here, especially this, this newer version or, you know, the older version as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.